Hey guys, in today's tutorial we will creating together a half curved text effect as you can see right here and we're using Affinity Designer version 2 for this and to start we need a new clean document and we need to um, go to the artistic text tool and write a text we want to transform in this half curved text effect for example Affinity making it bigger and selecting a cool font for example Mozara extra bold I'm using, going to the move tool, making a little bit bigger again. And what we're doing now is we need to go to this little arrow or if it's on your screen directly, you can click the, on it directly and click convert to curves and then select the first curve, hold down shift, the last curve, go to Boolean operations and click add and we can move this outside of the group. We don't need this group anymore and delete the group. And now we need to create a ellipse going to this tool right here. Um, click and hold and um, create this ellipse. Make it a visible um, fill color, for example, red. We can remove the um, stroke color and move this above our text. So like this, for example. And depending on how much you want your text to be curved on the um, one half, on the bottom half of your text, um, um, you have to adjust the ellipse to this. So for example, if you want it more curved on the edges, go down with the ellipse or um, less curved, go to the side. So we are choosing like this, for example. And now we click, need to click on our text, go to the Node tool right here or click A on our keyboard, zoom in, select those two nodes and hold down shift to move them um, in the same um, direction of the letter. Also with those two hold down shift to have the same direction and again with this F letter and again we have to do this for all the letters. Some letters are a little bit harder to do. For example for this N we need to select those two hold down shift those two and hold down shift to move down like this for example and with this one hold down shift and to the bottom and hold down shift and to the bottom right here and with our last letter right here we are finished with this step we can now zoom out we have can go to our move tool and we need to make sure that this ellipse is above our curves our text curve um, in the layers um, tab right here. Now select both. We can click this one, hold down command and this one. If you're using a Windows PC, you can simply um, use um, control instead of command for every com um, command I'm or shortcut I'm saying in this video. And after that, go to the Boolean operations again and click on subtract. And now we have this half curved effect and to make it look even cooler, we're gonna duplicate this curve with command C and command V selected in the layers tab um, for Windows users and control C, control V and the top curve we are giving a white fill, selecting the fill and white with swatch, swatches and white color. And with the background we are going black for example, um, this one for example. And now we go to the new um, contour tool right here, select it and click on our text, hold and move to adjust um, depending on how much we want the contour to be, for example 28. We can also write it right here, 28 for example, click enter and contour type we are going with uh, metro joints and after that click on bake appearance and we now need to adjust our notes to fit so we need to um, click on our node tool again and zoom in and delete the nodes that are not fitting our style. For example, this one and also delete those or we can let them um, stay. And we also need to delete, I think that was it, perfect. We can now zoom out again and click on our move tool again and duplicate this curve again with command C and command V control for Windows users move underneath this curve give a little um, other color for example this um, light blue right here go to our contour cool, uh, tool again and move our contour again up we can go with a little bit lower radius for example 20 but that's up to you again we're going with 
this type right here and clicking bake appearance. And now we need to adjust, maybe adjust uh, something. In this case, we don't have to adjust something. So if you have something um, unwanted, simply delete the notes. But I think that's gonna do. We can now zoom out again, click on the move tool. We can group all of them by selecting the first curve, holding down shift and the top one, or um, in the other direction, the top one, holding down shift and the last one, and then click Command and G, and Control and G for Windows users. We can now change the opacity to, for example, 90%, which makes it look a little bit softer, um, that, but that's just my opinion. You can change the colors and opacity in the way you want it to. And now we can select the group and can go to quick FX to um, give it a little outer shadow, for example, 50, 50 and maybe 80 and 15 degrees. But that's up to you. That's just how I like it the most because it pops out of the background. And after that, we are finished. We could also change the background color if you want to. And we can simply adjust now the group without losing anything of our styles because we have anything in curves and the effect applied to the group. And one moment back, selecting the group, we can adjust as we want to and center it. And yeah, that's gonna do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye. Thank <laughs> you.